All right, we're starting out going through the creek. This is just the entry up into the trails. Wow, really rocky. <laughs> Man, good little booters down this hill. Saturday in June we are heading down to southeast Minnesota to ride the Winona area trails so today's gonna be myself and then Mike's got his KFX 450 his dad Doug is gonna be on his renegade uh, his brother-in-law Ross is gonna be on a really cool trailblazer 250 that's like a special edition that's really clean and then we're meeting another local rider named Jason it's supposed to be an awesome day we're uh, on the road and we'll be there in about two hours and maybe we'll do some good old-fashioned time lapses and pick up when we get there To Snake Creek. There's Jason over there. I'm excited to see his warrior. He recently uh, restored it and did a frame down powder coat and everything. Go slow around him real quick. Had it registered in Iowa. Man, that thing is like brand new. I love the bumper on your Warrior. That thing is cool, man. We are ready to ride Snake Creek. We got a Warrior, the Raptor, the KFX, the Renegade, and a very cool, very clean Trailblazer 250. It's a special edition. Uh, Mike's dad, Doug, said it was one of four that came to Minnesota the year it came. We good? All right. On to the adventures at Snake Creek. Unfortunately, uh, they couldn't find a helmet that would fit Doug this morning, so Doug's going to be helmetless, but he's also a veteran, and it's better that us young guys have the helmets on since we tend to make poor decisions sometimes. Been coming here for 20 plus years to ride. Great trails. Within 30 minutes, you've got three to four different trail sections to ride. Ross on the Trailblazer is a relatively beginner rider. He's got motorcycle experience, so I'm sure he'll be just fine. All right, we're starting out going through the creek. This is pretty cool. This is just the entry up into the trails. So this place is open to ATVs, side-by-sides, horses, mountain bikes, pretty much anything you can think of. Because uh, it's going to be more exploratory, the pace isn't going to be too rowdy right off the get-go. I'm going to turn on the headlights. Northeast Wisconsin to Tigerton to ride the Embarrass River ATV trails. So 
some new venues, some new people. Doesn't get much better than this, man. How you doing? Oh! I didn't turn your gas on. Oh! So you ran the gas out of the fuel lines. <laughs> My bad, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I was like, oh no! <laughs> is so that says do not enter which means so well, this is two-way other trails not oh Mike is back there I am confused what happened to everybody oh I don't know where everybody else went Dad and Jason they should be up here, just follow around and it'll loop around. Okay. Ah! The wooded area shouldn't be too bad. Whoa, man, I'm glad I wasn't going any faster. I stalled it. I was a little surprised. Oh, great, I high centered it. Let's go back. <laughs> that just got me super dirty. <laughs> oh, we pushed a bunch of water out of this. Wow, okay, kind of techy. I like it. I'm assuming it's a two way trail, so. Gotta be kind of careful. They dig big holes. Hey, this is kind of cool. handling that four-wheeler pretty well. Definitely muddier than we wanted, but oh well. Already muddy now, gonna enjoy it. Here. 
really ruddy over there. This beeline makes sense. I'll have to get in front of Mike so we get some audio on the Raptor. I don't know where they went. This is muddier than it normally is. That's, That's got to be the Renegade. Yeah. Well, should we head that way? Continue that way? Yeah. It's good to have him lead. So we're going at a pace you're comfortable with. Doesn't need to be crazy. With the mud and muck, I don't know if we push him much harder anyways. No, I'm not looking to go too fast. That mud comes up quick and some of those are deeper than you think. Yeah, I'm taking my time. I don't want to get high centered and then I got to ride tomorrow. I don't need to break the singer myself, so. thinking this might be the access road definitely interesting the way this area is laid out I didn't expect to be running perimeters on these fields it's kind of cool such a perfect day it's a pretty raw trail though it's pretty bumpy in spots come back the way we came up? We did. Oh. Definitely rocky getting out of here. Ooh, big long downhill. Rocky, rough. So that was a full loop on the I think that's like the south side, maybe. That was a nice smooth section there. Quick little wheelie. One of the narrowest trails I've been on in a while though. I mean, I love it. This is fantastic. It does just kind of make me nervous knowing that side-by-sides are in here. You can hear Pete squad from a mile away. Bring us back here a little further around the bluff. Man, I really dig the trail. This is a fairly technical place. I mean, there's room to stretch the legs a little bit, but if you're not paying attention, you can end up uh, hitting a hole or getting high centered or something. see signs here not all trail systems give you any signs so plus one for snake creek on the signs oh thank god for skid plates It's getting ridiculously rocky here. Good sized rocks up this. Oh yeah, they're getting bigger. Wow, look at this. Stabilizer, baby. Love it. Bang right off the rocks with this thing. 
Stabilizer would come in handy through that. Wow, really rocky. Man, the stabilizer is awesome. <laughs> Dude, this would have been so gnarly. If anything, I'm more worried about bottoming a rim. I needed to say where I thank God for skid plates. Yeah, that is good. At least it's got a good, it has good protection on it. Yeah. Got there. I got some pretty good air There was one that I popped pretty good too. What do you think? That's yeah. rocky, ain't it? That's pretty rocky. The hills around here are to get up to the top, and once you get up in the trails, they mellow out like this. Well, I like coming up. That's fun. Well, I guess we might as well keep going. I wonder when we'll link back up with the other guys. So we kind of climbed up the hill. I guess we're going to do kind of like another top loop. I'm not first very often. I don't know which one I like more. We kind of, we've ridden like everything. There's still one more small trail section. We haven't, we've done pretty much the whole perimeter. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, but what do you think? Yeah, pretty good. good. There is one, one nice little bipper that you catch a pretty good air on. These guys might come through here. And There's the Z. There's your Z. Yeah, look at that thing. It's a sweet quad. That'd be a fun machine to get, a Z400. I'd love one of those. Yeah, that'd be cool. Did you guys uh, make that loop go out to the overlook and then make that loop? We haven't right made there? that loop yet. Right. Glad you came? Yeah. Hey, you should have came last time to Danbury, too. <coughs> you know, tomorrow might be a different story. <laughs> I'll be the 60 year old man. <laughs> <laughs> I think we might still go to Trout Valley so we can get over, over both of the river. I think that'd be cool to check that out. Yeah. Once you get up top, there's a loop that's just like the trails we are inside. These trails are tight. I wouldn't want to come into anybody. That, you got a, some of those hairpins. You really got to... Yeah. Like, yeah. How often do you see one of those? I remember. And come back down and we keep back over and do that other loop. I want to follow the other quads. The ones with pipes. <laughs> 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 it's cool to be ripping with Jason finally. He's been watching my 
my videos for a super long time. Super excited to uh, finally put a face to the name. It's my first time following a warrior, I'm pretty sure. I learned how to ride clutch on a warrior. I was going to say, those uh, few jumps we hit on the way down, I don't remember hitting that. This place is interesting. For how small it apparently is, it's really not all that bad. Wow! Glad I wasn't right behind him. Oh, okay, okay, very cool. Hopefully, uh, they saw which way we were going. I think I hear him. Wow. Nice view today. Oh yeah. This is something else. This is perfect. Ah, nice and dirty. Look at those things. How'd the trailblazer stay so clean? Good fender. Yeah, I suppose. I'm ready to ride. This will be fun. I get to ride that green one again, too. <laughs> there goes the raptor. <laughs> Man, this thing is so different. I cannot get over how light these 450s are when I get on them. Oh, this thing is a tank compared to that 450. Oh, I'm so excited that Doug's riding my wheeler, dude. That's so awesome. Doug has so much experience. He's a true veteran of the sport, man. He's ridden them all, except new Raptors. So much smoother. And louder. back on the Renegade. Goes from this to the Renegade. So much body roll in this thing though when you're taking corners compared to 450. But that, this rough stuff, not even an issue. Is so loud. <laughs> oh, there it 
there's there's a lot of torque. It goes. You wanna try this one? Alright, so your brakes. Oh, it looks like they're switching. Awesome. <laughs> it does sound like it's underwater. <laughs> oh, now I got to be in the in the back, driving the old trailblazer, having a good time. Ross is on the Renegade now. Ross just had like a 70 horsepower increase there. So the old trailblazer here. 2001 and these were made this is the freedom series this is one of four that came to minnesota then they were built in remembrance of 9 11. it's a 250 two stroke automatic doesn't get a whole lot of use this is one of the first times it's been out these are original tires on it still and it maybe has had three tanks of gas through it total but it's still an all a good quad this would be the next step up, I think, for my daughter who rides a Polaris 110. So just a natural progression, we'll probably move her up to one of these. Oh, I'm getting dirty. <laughs> I'd say splash protection is definitely probably the worst here on the KFX out of our group. I can see uh, definitely a crowd for this type of trail. Wow. Very rutted. Got this thing slides so easy. <laughs> it is so easy to ride. Whoa. <laughs> What I love is it's so easy to kind of get it back under control. Wow. There is mud on this trail. Man, I got really <laughs> muddy going through here. Oh, get it, get it. Yeah. <laughs> Not so bad. Nice. Oh, he's got it with the trailblazer. Ain't nothing stopping the trailblazer. I will say one benefit to stock exhaust is I can hear the machine in front of me really good. following that right I love listening to it for once my gloves are so muddy that I can't really wipe my face at all so I got mud all over the place yeah dog dude oh that's so great yeah. Whew, open her up a bit. Having a lot of fun. Doesn't matter what you ride, as long as you're having fun. You don't have to have the best of the best. You don't have to be the best of the best. Just gotta go out and have a good time. Woo! <laughs> best trail at this place it's muddy but i really like the way it's flown decent sight lines pretty good width
That's the best trail, I think. Yeah. It's muddy, but wow. that's a fun trail, dude. Just was on it. <laughs> Gotta get one now? Yeah, you come around the corner and just gas it and it's just right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, that thing is unbelievable. Hey, you gotta go ahead and buy it. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> I haven't been this muddy in a while. I thought you guys were talking about like a giant tree like this. I think the people we passed it. stacked all that stuff up to do a Maybe little cool. We came up to it was about that high to hop. That side by side group didn't make it very far before their next break. No. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. You seem to come naturally to riding and watching you shift to that, you're doing really good. The uh the renegade, it's like it goes so quick, you know. Like, <laughs> But the flare it has a little bit of a lag, so it's a little more forgiving. Yeah, that's but. like a big rubber band with nothing. <laughs> and when you let the rubber band go, it only goes like this. <laughs> well, then, this has been pretty entertaining so far, swapping. He's going to get on the Cowie. I'd like to ride that thing. You can ride that. I'd love to ride that. That would be a, a throwback for me, riding the Scrambler days. You can ride that. Dad, you can hop back on the Renegade. You want to try, try that Renegade? I'll ride it. I was going to say, we, yeah, we might as well get you swapping in yeah, here, too. We can all trade around. All means. Just keep the rubber side down. That's yep. the main thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's another warrior. I didn't realize that. He's got. He has gold wheels. I love gold wheels. That's like a '89. Nice. <laughs> oh, that thing's awesome. Oh, this thing's got an extended swing arm on it. Wow. I like the white. Like it's it's clean. Normally I'm not a big fan of no graphics, but this thing's got some some personality. The graphics drive me a little crazy, so I peeled them off. Yeah, hey, um, everybody has their own style, man. He gives you a longer bolt, but it's called a, a chain digger. That's right. They mount the battery right there. Yeah, the spikes come up. Yeah, look at the aluminum. They help you a lot too when you bottom out or get dug into something that they actually run through. That thing is awesome. We got the other warrior. Last time I was here, you couldn't even see any. And I was stuck behind one of those things all day. This is really similar to the one I learned clutch on. Like it was white and blue like this. It had gold wheels. Great to see sport quads. That's awesome. All right, we are all swapping quads. Mike's on the Raptor. <laughs> oh yeah! I'm not gonna lie, the seating position and everything is pretty wonky. Oh, here we go! <laughs> yes, I knew this would be fun. So being this is the third quad, fourth quad I've ridden today. Takes a little getting used to. To hopping from quad to quad, but... Got five. You need to pay attention because they can pop out of anywhere. I almost went head to head with them. Yeah, that's the one thing. Some of these corners are real There we go. Oh boy. We're 
sending it on the trailblazer now. Yeah, I'm wide open. <laughs> Somebody made a trail. Here we go. Yeah, that's uh, this thing ain't really a jumper. It ain't really a jumper. Will have officially ridden everyone's stuff. The only thing he didn't ride was my Raptor. I should have ridden. <laughs> it's super fun to ride, though. I'm riding people ahead of you. Oh, oh yeah, right. <laughs> seat is like four inches tall and super squishy so shifting your body weight it's kind of funny <laughs> here we go picking up some speed i do enjoy the trails at this place it's fun something different i would not want to get into a dicey situation on this thing This thing's fun. <laughs> this has no mud protection okay. whatsoever. Oh, I was gonna say, yeah, you definitely get dirty on that. You don't like it? Oh, this thing is insane. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we're leaving at the right time. Ten side by sides coming up. Man very diverse lineup of side-by-sides. Oh, I'm surprised I don't have air conditioning in that one. Man, we stopped at the right time. Man, look at that one. What do you think? Dude, this thing's pretty hilarious. It's, it's fun though for what it is. It's kind of scary to go really fast with. <laughs> You only want to go kind of fast. It doesn't go really fast though. Yeah, but you can get it going. You should ride while you got a chance. Ride that Warrior. Bring back some memories. I was thoroughly impressed. Except for your front brakes. So. Yeah, the front brakes. <laughs> <laughs> We've almost ridden everything. I just haven't ridden that. Because you're afraid of it. <sighs> Alright, I'll ride it on the way back. I'll ride it on the way back. Oh, this thing. This thing is something else, dude. <laughs> Have fun on the Raptor. I got a ride tomorrow, so don't flip it over. Okay, I'll get on this thing. Whoa. <laughs> All right, Renegade. That's awesome, Jason's on the Raptor. <laughs> Careful on that thing, dude. <laughs> All right, go from a Trailblazer 250 <laughs> to a Renegade 1000. Oh. Yeah, no front brakes. All right.
of scary to jump. I'm not gonna lie, dude. I love watching video of Mike riding this thing because he just owns it, dude. He rides it so well. When you first get on one of these and then you see how he rides it, you're like, how do you ride it like that? think of today we just rode everything that's nuts to trade quads like all all the quads i didn't ride the warrior the kfx gets you muddy i didn't ride the warrior i should have rode the warrior that's okay yeah, next time was, uh, a complete surprise to me. yeah it was a uh i had a learning curve because he used to grab that front brake coming in hot on stuff yeah, front and, brake, and there's nothing not there. you grab that back brake and you're locking up <laughs> hey what'd you think of the raptor it's so different. I mean, having that torque on demand. I mean, it's so much different. You can get yourself into trouble with it. Oh yeah, if you're if you're not if you're not watching where you're going. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> with that thing going through those uh, those trails on there, that thing is just ridiculous. I, mean, I barely had it on a trail, and it was fun. But that's a lot of quad. Oh, it is. It's a lot of quad. some muddy spots on most of the trails it was definitely a fun place to go check out and rip i actually would really like to come back here again that was pretty nuts that we pretty much all rode each other's machines at one point I'm, i didn't think we were going to switch that many times and now i'm kicking myself for not riding jason's warrior but i know jason and i are going to rip again sometime so i'll get on the warrior eventually but uh super awesome first part of the day here we're going to go to a place called trout valley now we should be there pretty soon so we'll pick up when we get there all right, we are rolling into the Trout Valley area. All right, we just left Snake Creek and we are dirty. Let's do a quick walk around. We're not starting clean on this one. Whoa, there's a hole there. Okay, tapped off the fuel. We're gonna climb this big bluff, supposed to be a rocky climb, and I heard there's directional trails on top, which is sweet. takes us to the top of the bluff. This is actually a lot nicer than I remember. It used to be really rocky. Oh, good first impressions. So this Trout Valley Trail is supposed to be considerably smaller than the Snake Creek Trail. The main reason we're here though is because it's supposed to have the best views of the Minnesota River Valley. Feels good to be back on the Raptor again. This kind of revalidates my reasoning for getting the Raptor because this is just such a great do-it-all machine. I really enjoy this thing. It's just a lot of fun. Here we go. Big rocky climb going up. This is what they were talking about. This is the rocks I remember. Once you get over these rocks, 
it really uh, smooths out, becomes pretty nice. Cool to see everybody so excited about the Raptor when they rode it at Snake Creek. I was going to ride Jason's Warrior, but I know Jason and I are going to be riding again someday. So I'm going to be uh, test riding it at that point. Wow, this is rocky. I like this trail, this is cool. So up here, make sure we got everybody. up here for the most part are smooth not overly rutted you got a couple places in the corners but definitely more high speed than snake creek definitely more atv trailish picked up the pace. That dude's leveled up like six times today as a rider. How cool is that? He can have a good idea of what he'd like to get if he were to buy one someday. See how deep it is. So far, our trail's been actually a bit smoother and nicer than Snake Creek. Snake Creek's got mud holes, man. You want to go mud, go to Snake Creek. All right, I spoke too soon. Here's some mud. Nice. This is some soupy stuff. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> I'm going to let the tires fling the mud off a little bit here. Where are we going? Oh boy, Mike wants to stop. This is a downhill stretch. You know the washouts that we're, we're coming up, you can jump over? It's the same thing. What are those? This side right here. Well, do you want to go first? Okay. Yeah, okay. same way. That's cool, man. Glad I put an extra pound of pressure in my front tires. I hit a rock pretty good. So we now we went up, come back down, this is a minimal maintenance road. And right here, we're gonna go back up. A little bit of erosion here. This is where it can get really rutted and rocked out on these trails. But I said, once you get up to the top, really not that bad. Very rocky. Holy moly. I'm digging it though. This is where that four wheel drive comes in handy in the, the bigger clearance. 
definitely an arm workout. <laughs> okay, that climb we went up was not the rock climb. This must be it. Good job, Ross, dude. It's one of the gnarlier trails I've seen. And that little trailblazer, man, she's getting a good workout today. And Pete almost sent himself down the edge. The Renegade is nowhere to be seen. This is kind of what that thing was made for. Alright, we should be getting towards the top now. This overlooks the Mississippi, the highway, see look over into Wisconsin. Looks like we're getting there. We're definitely up towards the top of this thing. Maybe go back. There's that reverse coming in handy right now, actually. Yeah, it's kind of tight. Is this where we're stopping? Yeah, the rock climb's definitely gnarly. See, the first one we went up, I was like, oh yeah, this is pretty rocky. It's not bad. Wasn't even close. <laughs> wow, this is sick. This was worth it. This was worth it. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, you're not driving the wheeler right down to it. I mean, I suppose you really could if you wanted to. This is really overgrown from what I'm used to. Wow. Normally you're going to see the road, there's a cemetery down there you can see. Yeah, like way down there. Nelson's up there, I forget what that town is up there. Yeah, this is beautiful. Wow. Crazy. talking that the whole loop might only be like eight miles or something better than nothing there's another trail system here called Stockton which unfortunately got flooded out like this past week apparently that ride is like the best ride in the area so it's unfortunate we can't do it but it's a reason to come back and do it so at Snake Creek. That's cool, man. He just need a little perspective, ride a couple other quads, and I'm kind of jealous of his like, first time four-wheeling. He had a pretty awesome day. I like this trail, dude. She okay? Yeah, she's just running hot. You think? Yeah, that low, those low radiator mounts. That's the only thing that sucks about the 450s is where the radiator's at. She's pretty plugged. Yeah. Thing is like a truck. <laughs> Probably 
they're pretty choked up with all that mud. Yeah. That's the nice thing about this radiator being up higher. On my KTM, the radiator was right there and it's stocked up all the time. Yeah, she's pretty caked. There's a lot of mud in there. Mm -hmm. Let's let it simmer down. You're going so much faster, it's hilarious. <laughs> I'm impressed. You're getting comfortable. We gained a four-wheeler rider today. Like a, a thousand times more four-wheeling than I think I've ever done before. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's addictive. It's fun. Well, man, I'm surprised she got that. Well, say so we're moving along good now. Got to be pretty kicked over. Yeah. But you can tell there's mud too. When it's on there, it's on there. Oh, it's it's like yeah, it's really sticky it's and. Cropping. We're playing some water. Yeah. yeah. Terrify lead. Keep the pace up. Keep the air flowing through this. I'm gonna chase the submarine. <laughs> descent back down Somewhere here, there is a turn off for us to take the lower loop, which is right here. We should hold up. So I haven't ridden this lower loop in a very long time, so I don't know how rutted it's going to be.
coming out on the road. Wow, and we are back. Lots of mud, but all in all, very fun. Dude, it may be short, but that trail, man, I could do two, three laps, easy. Super fun. Wow. I want to come do Trout Valley like six times next time. It may be small, but I like it more than Snake Creek, I think. Yeah. Well, like Snake Creek's fun, but like, that, last, that was epic. That last trail coming down was Man. Yeah, like it's always the fun. After we got back going again, and you were following me because we're going higher than we have been. Because I could hear you behind me. Oh, it was so fun. We were we were booking. Okay, you were close too. You were right behind us. Like, All right, cool. I kept so, having to back off. You get into certain spots. The dust was so bad. And you're just you know, there's a couple of times I had to back off and then catch up. Yeah, we got a little wet in the way back there. I like wanted to romp on it and then I was like, okay, I should chill here because if I spin my tires here, there'll be a ton of dust for Jason in the back. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> so, well, we got back quicker than I expected. That means I'm going to be able to get this all cleaned up tonight. Man, it's really on there. Wow. All right, we'll load it up. the day 4 30 we started around 10 30 lots of trail talk love the trail talk man can sit and talk quads all day with people it's so fun how it all brings us together met a lot of random guys a few guys that had seen my youtube channel but we had uh we had a really good chatting session on top of uh the hill at snake creek and then here at trout valley it was super fun to hang out trout valley was really small but man was i smiling ear to ear at the end of this trail it was so smooth it was just it's just so fun how different all these trails are and I think what makes it so exciting is riding different places often you know if you hit the same area five times in a row it does start to get stale you get there and you kind of rip around for a half hour and you're like oh, I'm kind of done so you know if you've got places close to you even if they're three four or five hours away there's just so many cool places to go rip these machines in our country and we're lucky to have what we have so also just wanted to do a thank you to everybody that let me ride their toys today. It was super fun to kind of trade machines around and I will be down to rip with Jason again on his Warrior. It was super fun to finally put a face to the name and I'll rip the Warrior next time. I just, it was kind of nuts to drive multiple machines all within a couple hours of each other. By the time I got on my Raptor, I was like, whoa, this is pretty gnarly. I'll quit rambling. Uh, once again, thank you very much for watching my videos. You guys rock. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys are getting out riding and I hope you guys have a good one. So we'll catch you on the next one. Found this pretty awesome car wash in West Salem, Wisconsin. Looks nice. This thing is freaking awesome right now. <laughs> that stuff just like baked down there like concrete, man. That is hilarious. <laughs> oh, am I relieved I get to wash it off right now. Look at that. It like... That is nuts. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Here she is. It's not perfect, but I got to ride tomorrow and this will do. This was a $15 car wash here. That stuff like literally dried on there like concrete. It was nuts. I mean, it cleaned up pretty good, but it's gonna take more time. Unfortunately, Mike's pants melted on here on our Danbury ride, but I got a few hours to drive to Sheboygan and tomorrow, Tigerton. <laughs>